Hi everybody, I'm Verna and welcome back to Big For That episode 2 and today we'll be doing another easy recipe that you can impress your dad with and today we have Chef Oliver Lim I Hello. think he's no stranger to us Okay, so Chef uh, I think all of y'all know he's a culinary instructor and tummy fat loss consultant from Olive and Glenn, right? Right. Yeah, so Chef, what are we doing today? What, what do you suggest that I do for my dad? Your dad? Yeah. For I like was planning this for my dad. Okay, come. So what will you be doing for your dad? Okay, I'm going to do something called a liege waffle. Liege? It's also a Belgium. It's the less popular of the two Belgium waffles. The reason is very simple. My father at 80 years old still have a full set of teeth. That's and impressive. He, yeah, and he only, want, he only want to eat anything that's hard and nutty. So I've designed this uh, with nuts and seeds and all this, as you can see, yeah, with a hard waffle. Yeah, it's very nutty. Right now, you are standing in our newly renovated kitchen. What do you feel about it? Do you feel any difference There's from the There's some vibe coming from behind. What do you mean? I don't know, some auto vibe coming from behind. It's something electronic, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, yes, correct. It's very so, clean looking, you know? Yes, it's very sleek. So, it's carpentry from Elite.co and our smart appliances are from Mover. And of course, on the table, you see our Bio Creations area. Does this look familiar to you? It's very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, okay, what do you have to say about these ingredients? I mean, I've been working with these ingredients for quite a while. Uh -huh. And it has improved my bakes tremendously. Really? I've shown my students some of this and they, they loved it. And I'm going to use, uh, specifically from uh, Bio Creations, I'm going to use the Type 650 mm -hmm. bread flour. And uh, we have uh, Domino Vert. This one is, uh, is a natural softener, it has enzymes in it. And then we have Spring Out 10. Now those people who, what if if, if you have uh, Levan, sour Levan, uh, uh -huh. you can dump it in. But if you don't have it... What's a Levan? A Levan is a uh, natural yeast, you know. Mm. Okay, you don't have, try this. It give it a sour tang. Anything with a sour tang tends to taste a bit better. Okay, true. Mm. Maybe we can start. Alright, okay. So we, we start off with the um, with the liquid. Okay. And you realise that this one uses very little liquid. It uses eggs for the liquid. Oh. Alright, so what we do is uh, we crack some eggs in. I, I got two eggs. I remember you mentioned um, eggs are emulsifiers. The egg yolks are emulsifiers. Mm, so it acts like an emulsifier are. and the liquid itself. Oh. So I'm going to crack two eggs inside there. And I'm going to weigh the eggs. For a very special reason. It's 55 grams. Yeah. So when you put there, it's 110 grams. Oh. I need um, I need 120 grams of fluid. So I replace it. So it's 108 right now. All right. So I put in another 12 grams of milk inside there to put it to 120. Very precise. That's how it's done. Because sometimes you cannot predict the exact weight of your eggs, right? Then after that, we put angel yeast. Sometimes outside when you buy, it's not vacuum packed. Yeah, it dies. Like, okay. Mm. And for this recipe, you put in the whole entire sachet. What's the difference between Dumpling. like vacuum pack and... Like when you vacuum pack it, you, you tend to get oxidation inside there, mm -hmm. the, the yeast stays longer. The last thing you want to do is do everything and the yeast is dead. That's the last thing okay. you want to happen, right? True. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to put 2 grams of uh, brown sugar for the flavour. So, it's 2 grams, uh, 2 tablespoons, sorry. 2, two grams. 2 tablespoons. And if you want to know what's the grammage, it's about 27 grams of brown sugar. And uh, honey, where's my honey? Honey, two tablespoons of it. It's about 20 grams of honey. Okay, then yeah. after that, we got salt, right? Yes. About a teaspoon of salt will do. It's and pink I'm, in colour. Yeah, it's pink Himalayan salt. Mm. Wow, well, high class. Very atas. I'm baking for my father. That's true. Then we have German bread flour. So this is the T650. Uh, oh, this is for bread. Mm -hmm. So waffle, usually when it comes to waffle, you, you see people using plain flour or you know, those cake flour. Okay. But this, this particular recipe uses bread flour. Okay, because Ooh. it's a cross between it's both. Between. This is 250 grams of uh, this flour. And we're going to put some... Uh, Spring R10. Spring R10. This is for the, uh, the, the tanginess of the... You know, and we, we put only a very little. About a teaspoon of it, just for the tang. And then what we want to do, is we want to put this uh, domino, Okay, this domino. is a natural softener, I, re I repeat, it's a natural softener, so you see everything is new, I've got to tear open, that's good gym work though. How much yeast you put in, you put in how much of the, the, this, uh, and ah. this softener. So I put 10 grams, right? 10 so grams, just about 10 grams, like, almost there. Yeah, almost there. This thing will, the, the yeast actually feeds on it and it, it produces a lot more um, gas. Mm. 
mm. and therefore it becomes softer. So, so it will rise. Yes, it will rise mm. and all this, right? So right now we will we will start the kneading. Eh? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do first, we're going to start kneading, but because there's very little fluid inside, so it's going to okay. be a bit dry. Mm. As it's doing this, I will slowly put in about 70 grams of butter. Okay. Okay, until it forms a dough and that's it. Uh, after the, the butter goes in, the cranberry will go in. Oh, we'll knead it together. Okay. okay. The total kneading time is only 10 minutes. Okay, we're done. Yay! Exactly 10 minutes. And you get a piece of dough that looks like this. It doesn't stick because it's oily. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you do right now? Leave this to rest for 15 minutes. Okay, let the gluten relax. You don't have to produce gluten. You don't have to do window paint test like a bread, you know. Just leave it. What are we doing now, Chef? Okay, we are going to do uh, mochi. This mochi I cooked, I cooked yesterday night. You know, you can cook it and leave it in the fridge for a week. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's basically made of a cup of, uh, a cup of glutinous rice flour. Okay. Half a cup of uh, powdered sugar mm -hmm. and half a cup of water. You mix it up and you just pour it onto your hot pan and let it cook. So this is how they make mochi? Yeah. I mean, they, they have more complicated one. Uh, mine is a lazy method. So this one, I'm going to put mochi inside there. There's going to be six pieces of this. Mm -hmm. that, the amount is for six pieces. So I'm going to cut it into six pieces. You can see the cheeriness in it. Yeah. This particular one, you leave it for, to rise for 15 minutes. Okay. You divide into six pieces. Mm -hmm. You stick this inside, you mold into a ball, mm -hmm. put in a covered container, put it straight in the fridge. We can prepare this recipe way ahead of time. Okay, so this is uh, basically, we'll just wait for 15 minutes and, uh, and we'll be back. Alright, so it's been 15 minutes. The dough has rested and is ready. Yeah. Okay, all we need to do is to um, cut it into six pieces. Six pieces. Six pieces, how much does it weigh? Anybody got a calculator there? Uh, okay, let me try mental sum. Uh. This is 565 five divided by 6. 565 five divided by 6 is. Uh... Don't know, right? Uh... <laughs> Take out the handful <laughs> and calculate. <laughs> la. Eh. <laughs> I cannot do math. Yeah. It's about 94 grams. Yeah, la, 94. La. 94. La, huh? I knew it. La. Yeah. I'm testing you only. <laughs> okay, so all you need to do is cut it up like this. I mean, if it's a bit too big, too small, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, 97. Okay, fine. Yay. So we got six pieces, so we, we're right. going to have six uh, waffles. So all you need to do is now we're going to stuff the... The mochi inside. The mochi inside there. All you need to do is open up. It's, it doesn't stick because it's oily. Mm -hmm. Take the mochi, put it inside. Is it because of the butter? Yes. Mm. And just cover like, like you're doing mooncake like that. Yay. That's it. Simple or not? Yes. And all you need to do is, you know, one of the ways I teach you how to wrap this thing. Uh, mm -hmm. You put it inside a container, what you do is put it in a plastic, you know, a plastic bag like this. Yeah. You put it and it's separate and you put it all inside a container. Okay. You know what? This is the time you can put in, you can put it covered up, put it in a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Not a freezer, uh, a refrigerator overnight. And when it rises overnight, it's very nice. The smell is very nice. Mm. Right? So, uh, are we going to stand down here and let the camera roll for 24 hours? No, because no. I've prepared some. Yay! Okay, this has been rising overnight. Overnight, ah. Uh. Okay, all we need to do is to coat it with the seeds and we can bake it. Okay, so Chef, right? What's the difference if you don't like leave it overnight and you leave it overnight? If you don't leave it overnight, you, you can put it on your, your table to let it rest for about 2 hours mm -hmm. if you want to wait. And when you leave it overnight, it actually the aroma is actually better. The fragrance, aroma. yeah, you know, okay. slow rising in a fridge, much better. But anyway, so I have done this. Yeah, you want to give your dad the best. The best, yes. So this has been rising in the fridge overnight. See, yeah. like like durian, huh? Yeah, actually, you can see that it's much bigger. Yeah, it's after much bigger. Rising inside. Correct. Okay. So it's like durian. Yeah. And all you need to do right now is to wet the hands. Okay. Like this, because you want to make sure the surface is wet. Oh, it's no longer wet at this point? Yeah, it's a bit dry, you know. Oh. So I'll, I will coat it with a layer of nuts and seeds. You know, look wow. at this, right? You open up your waffle iron, which I've set to a certain temperature. Okay. Okay, and this one, you, you can, you've got to be a bit patient. So you put it right onto the middle here. You can't use all four. Okay. Okay. And the first thing you do, you press. Wow. Training? <laughs> this is training for your... And then you let go. Okay, let it rise. The, 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 you, you will force this thing up. How long do you want to bake for this? I would say four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah, there we go. I, I, 
That's what we can't do without a handphone nowadays. Huh? True. So we have four minutes of this to go. And uh, we want to check sometimes the, the, the what you call the waffle iron is not hot enough. You want to check it should be brown. Okay. More on the dark brown side, dark, dark brown. brown, but you don't want black. You must be wondering what the, what's the brush for. Right? I can it's smell a brush it. Seat. You can smell it. Yeah. Brush the seat to the middle. I do the okay. next piece. I want to do, I want to do the... Okay, you do, you do. Huh? Make sure your hands are wet. Nah. No, I, I don't want to do this. I want to do this. <laughs> she choose what she wants to do. Yes. You don't want to do the sticky part. <laughs> Will you get poisoning eating too much here? No, you just get fat. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? Why? It's all loaded with oil. <laughs> oh. Nuts are loaded with oil. Okay, now you can do it. Alright. Then I just like... Put in the middle here. Okay. Ooh, it's so very gooey. Okay. Put in the middle, yes. Ooh. And then... Let's do it. Let's test my strength, okay? One, two, three. Hey, you're making waffle, uh, not prata. <laughs> okay, then leave it, you will start rising. Okay. Because the heat will, will expand the bubbles inside there. Okay. So this is um, technically our fourth piece. And while we are waiting for all the pieces to be done, those who are watching Big For That will stand a chance to win our giveaway. And the prizes include Baking hamper worth $100 from BioCreations. And secondly, we have Kendall Jackson Viners Reserve Zinfandel, a bottle of wine from the Big Wine Company. And we also have $50 hair treatment voucher from Culture Avida. And also, we have clean and soft tissue packs. Lastly, we also have a six-can beer pack from Pub Sean's Beerness. You can also check them out on a charmed existence. To join this giveaway, you can just like, share and comment um, what would you like to do for your dad this Father's Day and why? Right, so... Beer sounds good. Beer sounds good? Beer sounds Ooh. good. Wow, and we are done with all the pieces right. here. It really looks like a garden on a plate. Very artistic. It looks like a father's dessert, right? Yeah, kind of. Yes, rough, it does. Rugged, it's very you know, rough, nuts, rugged. Yeah. I just like the rocky road. Wow, this one also looks very rocky. Yeah. You want to try it? Yes. Okay. How do you eat this? All you need to do is break it. Like oh, this. Wait, can you wow. can you see the mochi inside? Oh, it's so gooey. Yeah. Have a bite. Okay. Right in the middle, right in the mochi. Right in the middle. Mm, yeah, where there's hazelnuts, there's walnuts, everything. Just Will it up. stuck to my bracelet? I don't know about your bracelet. Mmm! Uh, Can you hear the crunch? Yeah, you, you heard the crunch? Yeah. The nut was toasting inside there. Mmm! It's crunchy and it's also um, soft and chewy at the same time. So there's like a dynamic in the taste. Does and it it's feel, not very sweet. Eh? It's not very sweet. Does mm. it feel very filling kind of? Very yes, satisfying it does. kind of bite. Yes, like it's very full and it just tastes like a father's dessert. A <laughs> father's dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is beautiful. And it's simple, isn't it? Yes, it's very you, simple. Just dump eh? everything and eat. And also it looks very atas, right? But then actually it's very simple. So in a sense, you want to impress your father with not so much effort, you can do it. <laughs> your father can bring it fishing, you can bring it to, to the park. Wow. It's, it's, it, it holds its shape. It's not the soft, gooey, souffle, pancake kind of yeah. thing. You know, it looks very proteiny though. Yeah, it is. Protein I think it's, a, it's a complete meal, you know. You know how mm -hmm. nutritious the nuts and the seeds are. Huh? Wow, I think it's beautiful. What do you have to say about, you know? Well, your... the difference in... The reason why it's so simple to make is because we now we have instant uh, sour. Okay. Our ten. Okay, it gives you that, that, that tang. You won't feel sour. When you bite, you won't feel the sour. But it actually has a sour tang to it to, that completes the palate. Mm. Okay. And the, uh, the, the what you call domino bird, that, that yeah. thing softens the whole thing, so it's, yeah, it's, it's not hard as bread. Okay, uh -huh. this thing you can retoast it. Okay, I baked it such that it's a little bit browner. Uh -huh. So when you toast it, it doesn't turn not black. Not that chowder. Yeah. Okay. Toast it, 
the mochi inside will turn soft again when you bite. There's a crunch outside and it's, soft, it's still soft inside. Yeah, I think that is very balanced. Very, very commercial. Mm. Right. Okay, okay, so Chef, as a token of appreciation for you, we actually have a Kendall Jackson, a bottle of Kendall Jackson Venus Reserve Sinfandel. Thank you very much. For you. We'll be sipping this at home. Yes, and I hope you enjoy it and happy Father's Day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> happy Father's Day. So our Chef Oliver here is also a father to two children. Uh, two adults. Two adults. Two adults. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope you have fun with um, your children for a happy fa uh, for Father's Day, and um, go home. I will try to make this for my father. Yes. Also, huh? Very nice. Yes. Your father got teeth, right? Have lah, have. Okay. <laughs> okay so right. I think that's the end for a bit right. for that for this year. Maybe we'll see you next year. Yeah. Ciao. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day, everybody.